Hey guys, today we are making one of my favorite dishes. It is pure comfort food and is perfect for a Sunday night dinner. It's my enchilada suiza. If you're not familiar with this dish, it's something that I fell in love with when my dad and I were traveling in Mexico City a couple of years ago. And basically what it is is a delicious tomatillo sauce that is made by roasting the tomatillos and poblano peppers and some serranos blending it all up in a blender, adding some herbs and spices, and then pouring it over some corn tortillas that are filled with chicken and cheese. It is such a delicious comfort food dinner that will bring the whole family to the table. Let me show you how to make it. So the first thing we wanna do is prep our chicken. So I'm using three bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts. We're just gonna put them on a roasting pan and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes, just until the chicken is cooked through. Then we can prepare our vegetables for our sauce. So this time of year, you'll start to see tomatillos at the supermarket, and they are a really curious vegetable if you've never seen them before. The fruit or vegetable, I guess it's probably a fruit like a tomato, is inside the husk. So you wanna remove the husk, and then we're going to quarter them and pop them on a sheet tray. You'll find tomatillos used in a lot of salsas and things, so you've probably had them and maybe didn't know you had them. And then we're also gonna be using some poblano peppers, and we're gonna cut them, remove the seeds, and put those on the pan. And then for a little heat, we're also gonna be using some serrano chili peppers. And you can go ahead and cut them and slice them in half and put them on your tray. Then we're gonna take our sheet pan, and I like to give them a little bit of a head start under the broiler. So go ahead and set it at like 500 degrees Fahrenheit and just pop them on your top rack and let them broil for anywhere from one to two minutes until it starts to get charred. We're looking for those peppers to get nice and black. Then you can move your rack down to the middle and put it on 450 degrees to continue the roasting. And you probably wanna go about eight to 10 minutes. Then you can pull them out and allow them to cool. And while that's happening, we can prep our chicken. So you're gonna remove the skin of the chicken and just go ahead and shred the chicken with two forks. You're looking for it to turn into kind of bite-sized pieces. And then I also like to flavor this chicken with a little salt and pepper and the juice of one lime. Then we're gonna go back to our tomatillos and peppers that we roasted, and we're going to remove the skin of the pepper, and it comes off really easily, you'll see. And don't worry if you don't get every little piece of the skin, that's okay. Then we're gonna place these all in a blender, juice and all, and to that we're gonna add two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of chicken broth, and half a cup of some diced white onion. And you can go ahead and blend this all up until you see a beautiful green sauce develop. At this stage, I would taste your sauce. It does have a little bit of a kick to it. So if it's too spicy for you, you can calm it down with uh, one tablespoon of sour cream. Okay, our chicken is ready, our sauce is ready. Now it's time to assemble our enchiladas. So go ahead and take out a large heat safe casserole. And then you wanna kind of lightly grease it so that none of this sticks to the bottom. Then depending on the size of your casserole, you're probably gonna use anywhere from 12 to 18 corn tortillas. And one of the ways to make them more pliable is to wrap them in some paper towel and just microwave them just for a few seconds until they're nice and soft. That will help them roll without cracking. If you don't have a microwave, you could also do this in a skillet as well. It just takes a lot longer that way. Now you could make these enchiladas either all cheese inside or all chicken. One of the things that I like to do is actually combine the two. I know that's probably not very traditional <laughs> or authentic, but it is really good. So that's what I do. So you're gonna go ahead and take your tortilla, put some chicken inside. I like to stuff it pretty well, just because it'll hold its shape better. And then place some Monterey Jack cheese on top. And then you're gonna roll your corn tortilla tightly. And you wanna make sure that you put the seam of the tortilla on the bottom of the casserole. That will prevent all your filling from spilling out. And then just keep going, rolling and stuffing and putting these all in this casserole until everything is good to go. Now at this stage, if you wanted to make this ahead of time, you could just cover this in foil and put it in your fridge. I wouldn't put the sauce on until you're ready to really bake it. Just because the tortillas will soak up too much of the sauce and it'll end up a little bit dry. So it's best to do that right before baking. Then when it is time to bake, you're gonna take your sauce and pour it all over your tortilla rolls. You want the whole thing to be covered. And then we're gonna add some more Monterey Jack cheese on top. Really, it's up to you however much you like. I kinda think the more cheese, the better. So I go about a full cup. Then you're gonna place your casserole in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. 
just until the chicken is warmed through inside and that cheese starts to melt. And then the final thing I like to do is just pop that cheese under the broiler just for like one to two minutes so that it gets nice and bubbly and golden brown. And then the finishing touch is just to add a little bit of queso fresco on top. This is that soft, crumbly cheese that you can get in the cheese section of your supermarket. It has a really delicious, fresh taste to it, which also just looks really pretty on the enchiladas. And then I also add about a tablespoon of cilantro for some additional freshness. And then I typically like to serve two enchiladas per person, and then also serve it with a little rice on the side, which is quite delicious as it sops up some of that sauce and it's a great combination with the chicken. And there you have it, one of my favorite Sunday night dinners. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. Subscribe for more quick and easy recipes, and I will see you back here next week with another one. Until then, bye.